Hi, my name is David Hauser. Welcome to Soul Kiss. I'm here to talk about love. Today I want to talk about a ubiquitous source. You have to ask yourself in the case of making contact with a soul by paying attention, being interested in their pursuits, or being a part of their self-discovery. Is this not love? Any creature responds to connection of any kind. Its endearments are recognizable even in babies who just wish to play. We are all compelled to play with each other and that contact creates bonds not only in our brain function but in our hearts as we attach to this world. Every moment we are truly engaged we are having an experience that can never be rubbed off. It squeezes our hearts in ways that can only be recognized as love but processing its deeper meaning is a unique conundrum as to which kind of love it is. When you have been deprived of love, any drop will send your mission to find its ubiquitous source. My God, I feel so much for people going through this. You know, um, we are in a love-starved culture. <laughs> We are not having meaningful, loving experiences in so many capacities. And I mean, now with what's going on in the scene, you know, with, you know, all this, um, all this stuff that's coming out about uh, people not being respectful to women. And uh, I mean, it, it, it's just going to take away these innocent things that have nothing to do with groping or, or uh, being um, sexually inappropriate, but just the, the simple things of just, you know, um, being supportive and loving to somebody that, that um, you know, it just, it just comes from out of nowhere. You just have this simpatico, this feeling for somebody in their, their life and their world and what they're here to do, and you can't help but feel joy from it. But, uh, you know, recognizing, you know, just exactly what type of love it is, you know, is, is, is something that we need to learn about. We need to teach it. We need to show it. I mean, the Greeks were talking about it, you know, uh, uh, eros, phileo, agape. I mean, those are just three types of love. But in other languages, there's like many types of love. But are we talking about it? Are we breaking this down for people? Are we helping the young people of today understand that, you know, they may feel these gushing feelings coming out of them, but that doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, um, you're getting married or you're going to run away together or, you know, uh, something to that effect. It, 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 it's just our human nature to have this kind of love and compassion for somebody, you know, and talking about it is certainly the key and I am going to talk endlessly about it until, you know, we are all starting to see things for what they really are. Anyway, the link to my book is down below. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and mm, oceans of love.